the horses for this evening's 11th race. Tonight's 11th race is the Sovereign Warrior Invitational Pace. Racing one mile, a purse of $10,000, a field of six to the post. The one, Keep On Truckin' Sam, owned by Keith Noble of Dublin and Paul Humphrey of Columbus, Rocky Stidham Trains, Andrew Dries. The two, Rosemont Scholar, owned by Andrew Felice of Deerfield, Michigan, Rodney Connor, the trainer driver. Three, Keystone Reno, owned by Robert Henry of Fort Lauderdale, Florida, Paul Johnson, trains with Darren Mauser. Four is Light Source, sold by Wico Investments, and uh, Tony Clyer of Kentucky, Wilson Witten, trains with Don Irvine, Jr. The five, Mertz Falcon, owned by Festa, Colfus, Evans and Brees, Ron Potter, the trainer with Mike Wilder. And from post six, Come On Tough Guy, owned by Saul Northfellows of Pompano Beach, Florida, Todd Christie, trains Eric Lundford, is in the sulky. Win play show perfected, try factor wager. The gate swings into the back stretch, there they go. And uh, they're off, and the only two wanting the lead is the long shot. Keep on trucking, Sam, as he moves quickly for the lead. But now to the outside, Light Source. And Light Source is hustled away quickly. Light Source sent right to the front. Keep on trucking, Sam, of the inside. Come on, tough guy to the outside. And at the rail, Rose Mont Scholar is now in fourth. Another three lengths and five. Keystone Reno, the early trailer, sick as Mertz Falcon. Reaching the first quarter mile marker. Now the leader is Come On Tough Guy. First quarter, 27 and 1. Light Source coming right back to the outside. And Light Source going right on for the lead. Light Source wants the front. He'll get it. Come On Tough Guy will give it up for cover. Keep on trucking, Sam. The 17 to 1 shot at the rail in third. Rosemont Scholar on the inside is fourth. Out and moving now comes Keystone Reno. Grabbing the cover in sixth is Mertz Falcon. Reaching the halfway point, and with the lead, Light Source, half 56 and four fifths of a second to the back stretch. Odds on favorite, Light Source leading the way. Inside and racing in second, it's Come On Tough Guy. First up in third comes Keystone Reno, and with his cover in fourth, it's Mertz Falcon. At the rail, keep on trucking, Sam. And now to the outside comes Rosemont Scholar. Tightly packed, they're paired up here as they race into the final turn with Light Source showing the way a length. On the outside, Keystone Reno, three quarters and 126. It'll be a mad dash for the cash as they straighten out for home. It's still uh, Light Source with a lead. On the inside, uh, come on, tough guy, waiting for racing room. Now less than an eighth. And down the stretch they come. Light Source with the lead to the outside. Come on, tough guy. Down to the inside. Here comes a long shot. Keep on trucking, Sam. They drive the deep stretch. He's going to do it. Keep on trucking, Sam. The longest shot of the board. It won 54. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this evening's 11th race, the Invitational Pace. Post position number one was assigned, and the remainder of the positions were drawn. And post position one turns out to be the sweet one this evening. At 17-1, to 1, keep on trucking, Sam. Getting a perfect trip and a perfect drive from Rocky Stidham. He's a five-year-old son of Noble and Sam from the Crashmere Homer's Dream, owned by Keith Noble of Dublin and Paul Humphrey of Columbus. Rocky Stidham trains and who drives. Keep on trucking, Sam, using the inside passing lane to record his eighth of the season, and that is a career mark for him, 154. Now this evening, the Invitational Pace was named in honor of a great Invitational Pacer who for many years circled the track here at the Santa Down, Sovereign Warrior. Recently, Sovereign Warrior died. He was a, uh, again, an invitational pacer, not only here, but also on the East Coast. Winner of 64 races and also a world record co-holder in a, a dead heat. Taking his lifetime record of 157 and 3 here at Cider Downs at the ripe old age of 10. Racing successfully on the East Coast in Roosevelt, Roosevelt and uh, Yonkers for trainer and driver Ralph Lunsford. Tracks how to make that trophy blanket presentation. The owners, Dr. Dennis and Karma Jean Hodson. We'd like to thank the family for their continued support in the harness racing sport here in the Buckeye. 11th race, sort of results. Keep on trucking, Sam the winner. Rosemont Scholar, three. Keystone Reno, six. Light Source, two. 
Merge Falcon 5, come on, Tough Guy 4. 1, 3, 6, 2, 5, and 4. Hump coming in 12th, that's clear, no changes. Win play show perfectus, super fact wagering.